G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. One of the best fights that can be made at heavyweight Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce, two undefeated Kings at heavyweight. The fight has been rescheduled to July 11th, 2020. And of course, that is pending all of this stuff that's going on, coronavirus and everything else. But this is a great fight. Big shout out to Daniel Dubois. Big shout out to Joe Joyce because they didn't have to take this fight. They could have went in separate directions and took a safer route. But these two want to be great. And they want to be great right now. And that's why they're fighting each other. And it's it's such an intriguing style matchup because Joe Joyce, I, I'm not going to lie. Joe Joyce had to grow on me. At first I watched Joe Joyce. I'm like, eh. I'm like, I, I don't know. But as I sat back, I put the lab coat on actually study joe joyce like joe joyce is nice with it joe joyce is nice with it now usually i like my fighters to have a little bit of speed and joe joyce is i mean he's catch up out the bottle slow but he does so many other things inside of the ring that puts that on the back burner that i i probably have a higher level of respect for joe joyce than a lot of other fighters for him not having the speed he has such a vast punch variety that it's hard for you to counter him. It's hard for you to judge where he's coming from because he throws all different types of punch combinations. He doesn't start off with the same punch in every punch combination. And he throws at angles. He throws at angles and he comes. he can move and punch at the same time. He can walk forward and punch at the same time. Some guys can't do more than one thing inside of the ring. There's a lot of fighters out here that can, like, if they're moving, that's all they can do. They they moving and they can't punch. And then uh, that same guy can punch, but he can't move at the same time. Like, so you know exactly what he's doing because he can't do two things at once. Joe Joyce is not one of those guys. And he kind of reminds me of Foreman in terms of the style. And I repeat. He reminds me of Foreman in terms of the style, not in terms of he's that good. I'm not saying that at all, okay? People twist your words in a heartbeat. They're like, oh, man, G5 said Joe Joyce is, is like George Foreman. No. I said his style is like George Foreman in terms of him just being a big guy, not known for speed, but he just throws a lot of short, hard shots and got good punch variety. That was George Foreman in his essence. Now, Daniel Dubois, young fighter, very strong, stocky frame, and he's athletic in terms of being a heavyweight, and he really brings a lot to the table as a fighter. He got a really, really, really strong jab. Love his jab, and he's just a power guy. Like He just throws a lot of power shots. And that's what makes this fight intriguing because Daniel Dubois is used to walking his guys down and getting guys up out of there quick, fast, and in a hurry. I don't think Joe Joyce is going anywhere. So this fight is really going to come down to what fighter can make the other fighter do what they don't want to do. And, of course, we're going to do a breakdown and prediction video for this fight. The breakdown and prediction video is going to be a little bit different because usually i'll do the breakdown and prediction video myself but i think for this one i'm gonna bring in the uh vp of operations for g5 jeff tv my boy shane i'm gonna bring him in and i think we're gonna do a joint breakdown and prediction video for this fight i think this fight uh warrants it it's that intriguing and you know we're trying to do new things on the channel keep you guys engaged at the end of the day but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all peace